welcome to the premier edition of the Indian Hill School District's Technology Update. I'm Robert Reed, Technology Facilitator for the Indian Hill Middle and High Schools and your host for today's presentation. Our focus for the session is the Indian Hill School District Cyber Studio Initiative. We have several representatives from a district planning committee working on the issue of community access to the district technology resources. The Indian Hill School District has made a concerted effort over several years to plan and implement an educational technology program. Part of the district's technology plan involves giving the community access to our technology resources. The new Cyber Studio Initiative is our first attempt to meet this objective and it's about to begin. Uh, Cyber Studio consists of two parts. Uh, the first part is open labs and the second is actual computer courses that will be offered. During our um, open lab session, the Indian Hill High School Computer Labs 124 and 125 will be open for student and community use every Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. starting on September 23rd. Participants will receive an orientation to the computer lab facilities. Upon completion, they will be issued a lab card and this lab card will provide immediate access to the holder uh, during all open lab sessions. This will provide students and adults with an opportunity to become better acquainted with technology, uh, work on research projects, or just simply explore. Along with Open Lab, a variety of exciting computer courses will be conducted throughout the school year. Each class will be one evening in length and will be repeated uh, four times during the same week to provide more flexibility in meeting hectic schedules. Sessions offered will include topics such as computer basics for novices to internet exploration. Some sessions will require a $5 materials fee and courses will be limited to 20 people uh, per evening session. For more information or to register, our viewers can reach our high school technology facilitator, Mr. Dennis Duffs, at 272-4590. Now I'd like to introduce Marion Herman, uh, facilitator for the Indian Hill Primary School. Hello Marion, and welcome to our program. I understand that uh, to most of our viewers uh, don't really know what a technology facilitator does. Uh, could you give us a little explanation of that? Yes, I could. Um, we know that computers need to be a very integral part of the educational curriculum, not just an add-on to it. And the job of the tech facilita facilitators at Indian Hill is to help teachers make the transition to that integrated technology. Technology changes so rapidly that classroom teachers do not have the time to um, understand the developments in hardware and software, and that is our job. We also troubleshoot problems, do demonstration teaching of technology-rich lessons, and generally make ourselves available to the classroom teachers. Let them know how exciting and rewarding computers and education can be. Now, I understand that you will be one of the instructors for uh, our first session called Computer Basics. Could you tell us a little bit about that course? Yes, I could. Uh, Computer Basics is a hands-on course for the novice computer user, in which we will primarily focus on fundamental computer skills. Um, it will cover computer terminology, basic operation of a computer, and using the Indian Hill Network system. We will also include a simple introduction to Windows, what it is and how to run programs through it. There will be time for you to explore different software programs as well. Uh, the purpose of this class is to make new users feel comfortable. You can ask all those computer questions that you've always been afraid to. Um, it's designed to be a painless, enjoyable entry into the exciting world of technology. Well, thank you, Mary, and we appreciate that ex explanation of our, our first course. Uh, this is our Arlene Legal is also a technology facilitator for the Indian Hill Schools and shares that responsibility for the middle and high schools. Uh, Arlene, welcome to our show. You. You're the newest member of our uh, technology team. However, you're not really new to Indian Hill Schools. Can you explain? Sure. In 1989, I had the privilege of working with Indian Hill Schools uh, through IBM, helping them plan for the technology they have implemented today. And in 1990, was responsible for installing that with a team of folks from IBM. And ever since then, I have been in some sort of support capacity, support role with Indian Hill, this year being a full-time technology facilitator, working with a tremendous staff and a great team. I'm really excited to be here. Well, I know that uh, you're planning to instruct the second Cyber Studio course called Buying a Computer. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about that uh, 
uh, course because there's a slight twist in terms of that instructional process. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, this course, I will be teaming with my father, who is a retired IBM person. He retired after 25 odd years with IBM, and he has turned himself into a cyber whiz. He knows more about technology than I think anybody I've ever met, and I'm real excited about this, and so is he. I think we have a mutual admiration society going. The course we'll be teaching is buying a computer, and it's a course for the person uh, who is wanting to purchase their own home computer. At the conclusion of this course, they should have developed their personal requirements to enable them to begin their computer shopping. Specifically, we'll be going through the different components that you could purchase, uh, the best way to purchase that, the advantages of purchasing through a store and purchasing packages, through purchasing individual components and things to consider as you're in that process. It'll be a great time to come loaded with all your questions and hopefully we'll have some good resources that you can walk away with ready to buy. Well, thanks Arlene. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that that will serve uh, a, as a good course for many of our community members as they are getting ready to purchase their first computer or perhaps upgrading. Especially getting close to Christmas. Oh, definitely. Okay. Next guest represents an important part of the Cyber Studio planning team. This is Nancy Lippincott as a parent in the Indian Hill School District. She is also an active member of our PTO and committed to working closely with our schools. Nancy, welcome to our first show. Thank you. Uh, you have, uh, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about how you became involved in the uh, Cyber Studio project. Sure. A couple of years ago, I volunteered to do the middle school newsletter. And in the process, although we had a computer at home, we didn't have all the resources that Indian Hill has here. And so I got to know something about what Indian Hill has to offer. When Cyber Studio started, I was a parent who already was familiar with the area. Um, now, you're not actually doing any of the instructing for our classes, but I know that you were uh, an important part of the team that, that made it, helped make the decision on, on some of the courses that we are offering. Uh, perhaps you could tell us about the one uh, uh, called uh, Creating Your Holiday Cards. Sure. Computer Holiday Cards is a course for a person wanting to design a custom holiday card. Participants will also be able to print the cards on color printer or on the laser printer. They will also be given the opportunity to create a holiday database for all those people on their holiday list. Just be sure that you bring the addresses with you when you come. It's lots of fun. You might even be able to scan in a photo. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience with us uh, today. And uh, this certainly could uh, speed up the, the process for uh, many of our community members who uh, uh, go through that year-to-year -year process of handwriting all of their uh, their cards out. This might speed up. They create a database that they can use year after year. So again, thank you. Our next guest is Mark Richardson, technology facilitator for the Indian Hill Elementary School. Uh, Mark is our um, uh, guru for the internet and World Wide Web activities. Um, so uh, Mark, I'd like to, to welcome you to our, our show today and uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, the internet and World Wide Web, what that really means. Well, in the past few years, schools have been doing a lot more with the internet, and some of the examples that uh, schools are using that we would like to bring to Indian Hill are our classroom projects in which schools from all over the world are able to communicate through to each other via the internet. Um, the amount of information, current research information that's available on the inter internet is also something we would like to bring to our students. An example is that the entire contents, the catalog of the Library of Congress, is searchable via the internet. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to communicate with subject experts. PhDs from some of the finest universities in the world run programs in which they will actually communicate with elementary or high school students about research that they themselves are doing. Basically, the internet is going to open our classroom door to the rest of the world. Well, it's certainly an area with a lot of potential for our, our schools today. Um, obviously, there's a, a, a lot involved in using the Internet and, and access to the World Wide Web. Uh, what will actually be involved in the course that you're going to be in, uh, that will be, in, be, in, be, will be instructed? Well, in Internet Basics, we hope to uh, basically let people get their feet wet with the Internet. Um, they're going to learn how to use the World Wide Web. And this is a hands-on class, so you will actually be on the web. If you have never been on the internet, this is your chance to get on the internet and try some of the things that you've read about. Um, the hype for the internet has uh, been great lately. You see it every time you open the paper or turn on the, the news, and this is your chance to see uh, what you've been missing. 
we'll also investigate some different uh, ways for you to connect from home to the internet so that you can bring this unique service into your home. Well, thank you very much, Mark. I'm, I'm sure that uh, people are, are excited about uh, attempting to use the internet and get access to the World Wide Web, and this will give them an opportunity. Our last guest, Mr. Dennis Duff, serves as a computer instructor for the Indian Hill High School and also as a part-time technology facilitator specializing in video and multimedia for the Indian Hill Middle and High Schools. He has also been working hard on producing the show today. Uh, Dennis, we're glad you could take a few minutes from uh, this production to be a part of our discussion. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the other video productions that we have planned here? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, this is our first attempt at putting together a news program like this, or an informational update program, if you will. And we hope to follow up with this uh, as the year progresses with other advances in technology that we have. Um, in addition to that, though, the video that we do here with our students, we try to pr uh, shoot as many uh, events that students are involved in as possible. Uh, one of them, example, of course, is sports. Last night we shot the uh, boys' soccer game, and it turned out real well. I think we had nine members of our crew involved in that one, so that's uh, quite a bit of a coordination effort. Uh, we also do news programs for middle school, which uh, the students there, they have anywhere from 30 to 35 students involved in uh, putting together that report. So in addition, of course, we have uh, uh, performing art type uh, things with plays and, and music programs, so we try to do as many of those as we can. So without ex expanding upon every one, I think we shot over uh, 35 uh, programs last year in the school year, so if we match that this year, we'll be real happy. Well, it sounds like you have a really ambitious schedule over, over the next year, and, and certainly all the previous productions that we had, uh, any, anywhere from the middle school news uh, to that great basketball game coverage last season, uh, have, have all been excellent. Um, Cyber Studio does have uh, one more course plan that we haven't discussed, and, and that's the one on word processing basics. Could you tell us a little bit more about this, then? Sure, but before I get into that, Bob, I just thought I'd recognize our, our studio director here. The video studio director at Indian Hill is Anthony DeMarco, and he's behind the scenes right now. We can't quite get him on camera, but uh, he deserves a lot of credit for setting up the studio and coordinating all of the programs from a director standpoint and a technical standpoint uh, that we have here. Um, in addition to that, Anthony has uh, contributed uh, in other ways by competing in uh, national contests and state contests where he's won several awards. So. Uh, we'll probably have to do a special program on here, him later in the year. Uh, but to talk about uh, Cyber Studio, the course that we have planned is word processing. And word processing is probably the most, uh, most used software package uh, by any computer user. And the one that we're going to have is for basics to start out. And uh, of course, learning basics, we're going to use Microsoft Word for Windows 6.0. And in this course, you'll learn to create documents, save them to diskette, and print out hard copies for archiving. So. Uh, I think that's going to be a real good class, and I think it'll be followed up by some intermediate uh, word processing courses as well as some advanced courses. So uh, I think this will be a big one. I think it really will be. Okay. Well, thank you, Dennis, for your insight on video production for the Indian Hill School District and the word processing class in Cyber Studio. Please take note of the uh, current Cyber Studio course offerings. Uh, and open lab periods for the first school semester as they appear on your screen. But don't worry, however, if you miss the information. This presentation will be repeated throughout the next week. Course offerings are subject to change based on interest or special circumstances. You may also contact me at 272-4589 for more up-to-date schedule information. This concludes our first edition of the Indian Hill Schools Technology Update. Look for us on a regular basis throughout the school year. Each edition will focus on some current aspect of educational technology in the Indian Hill Exempted Village School District. See you next time and have a great day.